Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a way to use one kind of item. It's a back to school thing and I'm going to show you how to use it in multiple planners. Whether it's a six ring binder or it's your happy planner or it might be you know your bullet journaling. Whatever planner you're using I'm going to show you a way to use this. And what I'm talking about is your back to this basic envelope. Now I'm sure some of you have seen this before. It's just a regular old plastic envelope and it's got this neat pocket in the back. Well, how great would that be to make more functionality in your planner than to add this to it? So, and they're real inexpensive. You get these at your, um, I didn't, I found this at Office Depot and it came in a pack of three so I really didn't get to pick which ones I wanted so this is what I'm working with now this will work in your happy planner with your six ring binders all you'd have to do is obviously punch your plastic and you would need like a crocodile um, some device like that to punch through this plastic to get through these to ins so that you could insert it into your happy planner alright and the same thing would go for your six ring or um, was it um, Franklin Covey has seven rings I think so either way you would have to use a crocodile to punch holes through this plastic it's not real heavy plastic real thick but it's thick enough where it won't go through any um, happy planner punch or a paper punch so you really would need a heavy duty um, hole puncher to get through this stuff the other technique that one I'm going to show you today, which I thought was kind of a clever um, idea, is to add it to your bullet journals. And whether you have a Webster page, now this is going to be for a wide. I, I generally use just a wide. I haven't gone down because I like the, the, the large sizes. So what I do is this is my planner and the ones I design and make. Now you can see it will hang over the edge a little bit. It is a little large. They are a little longer than your traditional, you know, wide planner. So depending upon your taste, if you like that, if you don't like that, there might be a little hangover. And on like a Webster page, there is a little bit of a hangover on these also. So there is, you know, a little bit. But I'm going to show you how you could also eliminate that if that does bother you. So what you would do is you could either do one of two things. If you don't have a fuse tool, which is like this, and it heats up, don't want to touch this once you've got it plugged in, but this will fuse this together, kind of like what they've done here. It will do that. This will do that. So if you wanted to trim this down and do use your fuse, you could do that and, you know, make it work for you. I'm not real sure if that would work exactly but it's an idea for you to try I have not because I don't have an issue with this size too badly I'm not that picky if I am I would try my fuse the other thing to try would be to cut this down to the size you want and just use pack clear packing tape to tape up the sides um, that would be another idea but for today I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to tape two of these together and then for the put adding an insert into my notebook and again yes it is a it is quite a bit bigger but I I just thought it would be a neat idea for those who wanted to you know try and think outside the box a little bit so I'm gonna show you this idea and show you how to put it together now I've got some clear packing tape here now I've cut mine a lot longer than what the envelopes are because then I can just trim off easier than trying to line them up on the edges. So, what I would do is figure out what side you want down, okay? I'm going to have the snaps out so that it makes it a little bit easier to write on so I don't have the snap interfering with my journaling. And I'm going to go ahead and place them down like so. Now you just have to line them up up here, cross so that it looks good and there's that okay then you would not want to take another piece of tape to just lay down on top of that 
so that it's sealed on there real well and it's not sticking to anything. Like your the center wouldn't stick to your books. Now this is so this is simple enough that you could just take this apart if it doesn't work out for you. Just give it a try, test it out. You can measure, you can figure out how how wide you want this. I just quickly did this just to give you an idea, something I thought would be kind of neat for some folks. You could also put a notebook in, put this around a notebook, like a composition notebook. Let me grab one. We'll see how that works out for it, size-wise. Give me one second here. It's amazing how you think of all this stuff once you're on live and come up with all these other ideas. So if you did a composition notebook, it would work out like so. You know, so if you have one of the Webster covers, this would work out for that. I have my own fabric covers that I make, and I would, I'm probably going to pop that into there also. Kind of an idea for on the go. So that's how that one would look. And of course, you know, you would just trim off your tops and bottoms. But, you know, if you wanted to stick that in there, yeah, like I said, you would have to adjust. Unless you're going to put two of them together and have you know, two of them in there, but um, the other thing is too, if they're a little bit long, you could also snip the corners on your six ring, because I know sometimes they will interfere with the rings, so if that happens, I would just snip the corners off a little bit, since they are a little bit longer, and you don't want to mess with the fuse, or you don't want to cut down the edges, but I thought these were really cute, and I thought they would, you know, help out somebody, and they might enjoy that, so there's an idea for you today. I hope you enjoy it and you like it. And if you want to keep seeing some videos here, be sure to like the page and hit the, um, you know, make sure you subscribe and you'll be getting all the updates as to more videos coming up. So you guys have a great day. Stay cool because I know here in Wisconsin it's really hot. So I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.